Visit abbaeservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative. This episode is brought to you by Dr. Lourdes Capolong. Advice to aspiring musicians. And by the way, um, hindi niyo napansin, pero yung pagbikas ni Annie sa Tagalog when she said musiko, that's the that's the noun that we actually use. Mm-hmm. Hindi po musikero, it's actually musiko. Mm-hmm. So, sa mga aspiring na gusto maging musiko, nakatulad natin, mm-hmm. what's your advice? I usually tell them three things. Sana maalala ko yung pangalawa. Pero yung... <laughs> <laughs> yung una, sabi ko sa iyo minsan nakakalimutan ko yung hindi kasi naaalala ko yan yung <laughs> yung una really is learn to cope okay a lot of people are surprised so it doesn't mean like uh, like ano parang I should be like maganda or sexy no first learn to cope kasi there will be demands whatever it is rehearsal time dealing with people yeah. <laughs> like your student while being watched by some people so it's really coping with what you have to do first and it's very general kasi some people say don't i need talent wasn't kita mo ang dami diyang walang talent na you will say wala silang talent but they have some sort of talent whether it's marketing talent mm. na diba not necessarily musical talent but you know what are your goals okay so that's number one. um learn to cope uh the second one which i think i remember is usually learn to prepare diba kasi some uh, sometimes kasi gusto nila alam nila kagad or there's a lot of because we know this because we're producers promoters and we work in the background we're teachers gano ba ka ilang oras nagre-rehearse yung bata na yung para gumaling siya mag drums di ba hindi mo pwedeng i-crash course yan ng two weeks yes I agree di ba kaya you, you have to learn to prepare and every time I have students I always tell them that na kahit na um, if you I just ask you to print out the lyrics just so we can write the breath marks you have to prepare it Because you don't want to get to the rehearsal or the show or whatever. Oh, I don't have this. Oh, because the thing is, if you make someone else do it, who guess who doesn't know the material? Ikaw. Yes, you I don't agree. know it, diba? And the third one is don't suck. <laughs> don't suck. I seriously. Sabihin, always try to improve yourself. Yeah, I, I applaud you for trying to explain don't suck. <laughs> Pero, uh, kasi, um, but actually, what it really means also, you know, to, to be good at what you do is actually to learn to discern. Kasi sometimes people don't know that they don't suck, that they suck pala, di ba? Kasi have you experienced na yung parang, sinulat ko yung kanta na yan, yan yung pinakamagandang kanta sa buong mundo kasi sinulat ko yan. Or, ang ganda-ganda ng performance ko kasi I tried so hard and I felt it. Ganun ganun sa talo sa competition, di ba? Because, You probably sucked because you're relating yung kung gaano mo yung the intensity of what you did or what you believe is maganda without looking at everything. Wala comparable sa another way. Yeah, oh, oh. without mm. looking at the whole yeah. at the whole thing, yeah, yeah. 'di ba? Oh, ang ganda nung ko. Oh, ang kasi, ganda yun. Ano pakiramdam ko? Ang ganda-ganda niyan. Sinulat ko yang kagabi, gandang-ganda ko. So dapat <laughs> maging objective ka. The only way to not suck actually yeah. is to be objective. To, to learn, yeah, yeah, to learn this kasi yeah. it's learned. Yeah. It's learned, 'di ba? Like kung gusto mong maging drummer, mm. kailangan nakikinig ka ng mga drummer, 'di ba? Nagsuntukan kami ng kapatid ko. Ah, seriously, <laughs> kailan? <laughs> Nung time na lumabas yung Envelope Ideas, mm. gumawa ako ng kanta. Mm-hmm. And sinabi ko, Pakinggan mo to, ito magiging hit song. Pinakinggan niya, sabi niya, ang pangit itong kanta mo. To your point, mm. akala ko talaga yun ang pinakamagandang yeah, kanta dahil hindi ko kinumpere. And nag-away kami talaga. Now, looking back in hindsight, I would have said the same thing my brothers said. Hindi masyadong maganda. Hindi kasi you're relating how you feel about the material and you know how you felt about creating it yeah. without its actual quality. But you have to realize also that you need to distance yourself from it. Yes. Diba? Kasi syempre ngayon, sinulat mo, ay, ang ganda-ganda, ang ganda niyan talaga. Ay, sorry, today, tomorrow. Tapos mamaya, next month, ay, meron akong gustong palitan. Or it could be, ay, ang ganda. Also, di ba? Uh, so, pero, kasi that's what drives it. 
fans, yes. fan base. Yes. So you shouldn't be the only one to like it. Yes. You shouldn't be the only, your parents and your sister and your best friend shouldn't be the only ones who will like your performance. Kailangan kahit yung mga hindi mo kakilala magugustuhan din nila kung ano man yun. 